My forehead looks gargantuan. You know what they say about girls with big foreheads. <laughs> they have good... Also, happy Vlogmas. It's day... Hold on, let me see. Day 20. I think I'm only posting until the 22nd. And then I'm doing a weekly vlog. So I am stopping a teensy bit early. But then you guys are going to get a long weekly vlog. So that's like... It'll make up for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Today we're going to do a get ready with me. Because I'm trying to rest and not do as much stuff my body is like screaming at me to just rest two days ago i was on a walk and literally twisted my entire ankle it's like pretty bruised it's getting better though like i keep icing it and it's getting better like if i just rest today i could go out tomorrow because i still have christmas shopping to do and i absolutely need to get it done we'll just rest today party tomorrow i wish i like had asked y'all questions but we're just gonna talk because i have stuff to talk about anyways let's just get right into it first i need to prep my face first and foremost i brought these little elemis resurfacing facial pads over here they smell so good what the heck they look like this start out with these i've never used these so this is like a little bit of a blind reaction but it feels so good i don't like things that feel too like abrasive on my skin also you might notice it's a little dark because it's raining it's supposed to rain all this week which is so so exciting because if you know me, you know that I thrive in the rain. I need to like live in Seattle or London or somewhere where it literally rains and is cloudy all the time. Biggest thing that I loved about Florida, it rains a lot there. Listen, in Southern California, we get about 10 cloudy days out of the entire year. I just can't believe when I go out and people are like, this weather sucks. I'm like, babes, we never get this. Like, please let me have this. Let me have this, okay? And I don't want any of that sprinkle shit. No sprinkle, sprinkle. I want a downpour. That's why I want to move back to the East Coast so bad a lot of people were like you did not tell us you wanted to move back to the east coast i said it like briefly in a little <laughs> weekly vlog like uh like a month ago california do not get me wrong i've lived here for so long now and i love it it will always be home to me you guys know i always be a little cali girl i hate when people talk about california because there's so many great things about living here i just love it here i really genuinely do i'm taking the tatcha water cream but I need like a teensy bit more hydration because y'all know my skin. I'm just taking the Elemis Superfood Oil and just like mixing it. And this stuff is great. If you need hydration, oh, this oil, it will give it to you. I don't see myself owning a home here. Genuinely, I don't see myself like <laughs> living here for the long term. I feel like I resonate more with like East Coast vibes. You know, I grew up there, so I kind of want that for like a family vibe i have to like start thinking about getting older <laughs> i'm about to be 26 in three months 26 yeah i'm literally going to cry i feel like i'm getting so old even though that's not even old that's like it's like that is still so young i have to start thinking about like real shit you know what i'm saying like i really have to start thinking about this I feel like when the lease is up here that is like the perfect time to move so if i pop out on the east coast yeah y'all already know what's tea because I just miss it there. I really do miss it there so much. That is the tea and I've made up my mind. Okay, you know what? I wanna try this. Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer by one size. I think I wanna use this or should I use my e.l.f. primer? I kinda do wanna try this. Cause all these products I really, really love. All the one size products. I don't think I've tried one that I don't like. Like I don't think I've, I'm looking at everything. I'm like, I don't think I've tried one that I don't like. The powder that they sent me was a little orange for me, but I have such weird undertones. It's very hard to like pick my shade. So my face is super pale. So it's hard to match me. You know what I'm saying? How do you match Casper? You don't. She looks like war paint. Hey bitch, I'm ready for the war. <laughs> have you seen those memes of like, when the just get sent to the draft oh that would be me why would that be us like we are just too pretty and cute to be doing all that shit. shout out to the bitches that are really tough enough to be doing that i've got so many different of like these things this has still proven to be like my favorite one the ilia because it matches me the best i actually like the rare beauty one too the rare beauty one is it's very very good i also want to try a different technique that i seen on instagram today i literally saved it i save so much stuff i save recipes i save a lot of this is like literally hot girls <laughs> My saved is literally hot girls. I don't think I've ever saved one guy in here. Never. Like, please look. It's literally... <laughs> like, please. The girlies are the blueprint. Oh, this guy. You stop smiling. It looks like this. Let's talk about blush placement. Blush placement? He's like talking about all about blush... I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna do it. Because... He just seemed to really know what, what the fuck he was talking about. And I was like... Yeah, this is the tips I need because like it's no secret that I am not a makeup girly. I am just not good at it. I'm going to start off with my brows. I'm going to use the Refi Brow 
pencil or not pencil what is this thing a little brow whiz i always call everything a brow whiz it's just called brow tint the wand is a little revolutionary like the wand makes it kind of iconic you know what i'm saying so i will say like i do like the product and i love the packaging the packaging just gets me on shit it's just so sleek like it's just one of those things that like it just looks good mine is in the medium brown i wanted to update you guys on the tea of what's going on because i had an appointment with the endocrinologist at this point you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about this stuff but this one is actually like this update is a little serious. Seen an endocrinologist before. I had to go see one when I was 14 to be diagnosed with PCOS. You know, get an ultrasound, do that whole situation, situation, which I'm gonna have to do again in January because I still haven't made an appointment to Planned Parenthood. <laughs> I say I'm gonna do shit and then I just never do it. Like, please don't ever, don't ever believe me. She would just want to go over my blood and everything. And I was telling her like my problems and my symptoms and everything I was having. She wants me to go on semaglutide now let me tell you something when she told me about this i did never know i never heard about this shit in my life it was like it's an injection that you have to do once a week and it's going to make you so you're not tired it's gonna make your periods it's gonna fix my period problem well we think she thinks like she thinks that it'll regulate my period I've done metformin i've done the birth control for so long i did birth control my my issue with the birth control is that when i go on birth control my weight goes up and I was like, I'm not really looking to like gain any weight. You know what I'm saying? I kind of just want to like stay the same or like be able to manage my weight. That's like a big thing with PCOS. If you know, you know, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that the PCOS girlies can just like really not get a handle on because it's just a hormone imbalance. I was explaining to her, I was like, metformin didn't work for me. I took birth control for so long. That's what cleared my cystic acne. Everybody that wanted to know how I cleared my cystic acne, that was how. I literally just went on birth control. I took it from when I was 14 till I was 21. When I was 21, I was like, I'm tired of this. I stopped taking the birth control and my skin stayed clear. I've had like breakouts here and there, but nothing nearly even close to what I had when I was 14. Anyways, beside the point, now I'm fucking off topic. I think I'm gonna use the Ilia. So I don't feel like I need like any crazy foundation. You guys know I don't really like do so much foundation anymore. Mainly just like skin tints with SPF. I'm gonna use this Sephora like blender brush. These are so good. The Sephora brushes, <laughs> low key tea. My shade is pale. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ST4. Why did I think it said STD? Oh, she's she's going fast. So anyways, I'm talking to the endocrinologist. Really, really nice if you have health anxiety to go to doctors that actually feel like they give a fuck. She was like, you should go on some glutide, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay. She's like, it's an injection. I'm like, oh girl, I don't think I can do it. I can't inject my, like, there's just no way. Like, you don't understand, there's no way. She shows me how to do it. It's like very much looks like an EpiPen type of situation. She shows me how to do it. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Like, I thought it was gonna be like <laughs> this big, needle she said that it will help with my pcos and you know what if i'm taking it for you know a couple months and it doesn't help my pcos we can always switch to something else i'm kind of running out of options at this point um which really feels frustrating for me um so yeah kind of feels like whatever i do it's just like i can't get an answer and i know that like sometimes that shit just happens you know like sometimes that's just the name of the game it's like it's, nothing seems to be wrong but it's very frustrating that you know this keeps happening to me i'm not feeling myself i'm feeling so exhausted so exhausted that i like literally can't even get out of bed um and i was explaining that to her and she said that you know this medication it's to help with that Anyways, I'm done talking about that because it just stresses me out. The whole situation stresses me out. So, bam, we're gonna move on to this video with the blush. Do you still smile and apply your blush? And when you stop smiling, it looks like this. Let's talk about blush placement. Yes, you teach me some tea. Here. I took a photo. <laughs> so I, I don't have to watch the video over and over again. Okay, this is the photo we're working with. So these lines is supposed to be contour. White stuff is the concealer blush is obviously the pink one so this is kind of a new concept to me so we're just gonna rock it and roll it and see what happens my fenty this is my favorite contour stick of life it is the match sticks in amber right here which is where i usually put it that might be a little too much he said right here oh that makes me a little nervous it's like on the cheekbone but i've heard people say that that's like a good place to put it. I've heard people say it's better to put it there than put it 
here. And honestly, when I put it here, my face looks a little dirty. Like it looks like babes you haven't showered. And like that. Oh shit, I put that one way higher. Hold on. Oh, help us. And I'm gonna use my NARS concealer because if I can ever find it in this pile, I have to go through my makeup. Like, cause there's so much makeup in here that needs to get gone. This is like one of the best concealers that I feel like you could ever buy. This is the NARS Affogato. Mm -hmm. I need me an Affogato. I went to Lala this morning, y'all. It was so freaking good and I love their coffee. So I'm gonna try to remake it. So we got the coffee beans. I need to learn how to make their like cloud. They do this like cloud. It's kind of like a, what would you call it? Like a, kind of like a cold foam. Been watching so many freaking videos about how to make like literally the perfect coffee. And the beans is so important. I bought Pete's beans last week. So I was using the Pete's beans, which are so good. You know, I love my Pete's coffee. If you can get your hands on some Pete's beans, which I think they sell them. I think they sell them at like every grocery store. I was like, well, you know what? I love Lala. I want to get some Lala beans and like kind of recreate their coffee. If you're ever in California, or like I said, they're in Texas as well. You need to try Lala Land Cafe. It is chef's kiss and they make the best avocado toast. So good. Like the whole cafe is just insane. And I love their message. They only hire foster youth, which is like kids in the foster care systems. But they do this like, they call it the cloud. Remember when Ariana Grande had that cloud drink with Starbucks and it was like a soft top type of situation? It's like that. It is, that drink was good too. But ooh, Ariana Grande, ooh, Starbucks. So I really wanna like recreate that and make it, but I don't know how. Like someone in the comments, please tell me. I know it's like heavy cream, milk and something else, but I just feel like no matter what I do, it doesn't like come out how I want it. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I love that the coffee that I get, they don't use syrup, they only use honey. Tell me why this whole week I've been using honey in my coffee, revolutionary. You get like this Mexican honey from the grocery store, revolutionary. No, like it's so good. It's like the honey with the comb. It's like 12 times better than any syrup you could ever buy. But I also bought a new like brown sugar syrup recently it hasn't come in yet actually I think it's coming today i think i have an amazon order coming in today since i got this damn coffee machine y'all i've been just trying to i've been watching so many youtube videos on how to make the perfect coffee i will get there i'm getting so much better every day i just get so much better <laughs> so i just feel like eventually i will get real good this is what it's supposed to look like let me get my blush i got this pillow talk charlotte tilbury this is my first product i've ever bought from charlotte tilbury it's the matte beauty but literally the pillow talk that everybody has i am so late to this trend of the blush but let me see to make sure that i put it in the right place because like really i don't be doing all this like this is already so much for me but i was like i'm gonna try something new like i'm always like wanting to try different stuff especially to like you know change up my look sometimes do y'all be getting bored with yourself oh because i do i look in the mirror and i'm like babes you're boring me today <laughs> i think that's why i change my hair so much because i just love a different look like i love something that makes you feel refreshed also don't talk about my hair i know we need to do her i want her ginger i want her red actually i want to go back to my like red red you know what i'm saying but it's so hard to maintain if you're thinking about going red don't i'm just kidding no you should because it's so fire but it's like you just need to know that it's a lot of maintenance a lot let me blend all this in and then i will be back i have for the most part blended in everything sorry i had to take the girls out they had to go to the bathroom I forgot to do my nose i usually don't do my nose but since we are following what he said to do i'm gonna do my nose and then i'm also gonna do one of these little button things you know how people do like the cute little button nose I'm gonna do it. Do you see that? Like, I don't love the contour on the nose. Like, I just don't. I don't know something about it. I just don't like it. Anyways, I'm following this thing to a T, so I feel like it makes my nose look bigger. Why did it just double my nose in size? <laughs> I set everything. I might want a little more blush. I am not gonna lie. I think I was kind of light handed with it because I'm used to the Rare Beauty blushes. If you have the Rare Beauty blushes, you kind of know 
how pigmented they are. This one is still pigmented, just kind of not as much. So I think I just want, I just want a little more and a little on the nose just for good measure. I've seen someone say that we're getting rid of highlight. Not me, babes. I will wear highlight until the day that I die. I'm still going strong on this Smashbox. They don't even make this anymore. This Smashbox highlight, oh, it's so good. I really love a dewy, are you guys more of a dewy look or a matte look? Cause genuinely, I love both, but I think I'm more of a dewy look. This is probably one of the best hacks I've gotten from the internet. I feel like it looks so good because of the primer. Like this is really, it's called the Makeup Magnet Primer. This is really a makeup magnet. Like this, you know what I'm saying? And it looks so flawless. It just looks so good. Like I'm telling you in person, it's honestly sickening. It's sickening to look at. So I'm using the little Freck pen. Last time I used this, I literally shit myself because you like have to be really careful with this little freckle pen. The method that I do to, the, to make the freckles I'm not gonna lie, I think it's a little bit better than this pen. Is the product still good? Yes, totally. I was taking a little skinny brush, like a liner brush, taking like a brown lipstick and using it for freckles. And I would just draw them on just like this with the lipstick and it ate down every time. So I got this product cause I was like, oh, this is like made specifically for this, you know what I'm saying? Like it'll just eliminate lipstick process. But I actually feel like this is harder to do because if you don't do it right, it literally looks like henna. I'm gonna curl my lashes and use the Dior mascara. These are Eco Lashes. Cotton, cotton hemp fibers, I don't know. But shit is a hit. It's a hit with me because Lashes are extremely hard for me to find. Lashes that really work with my eyeball. I love a really dramatic lash. Like I need to look like I'm a brat stall. It has to be pretty dramatic for me to think the look is like complete. All right, y'all, here's the lashes. They look so good. Here they are. They're so cute. I can't decide if I want to do a brown lip. I kind of want to do a red lip. But what if I hate it? You know, if you take off a red lip, it's just like your whole mouth is red. Here is the product. This is gloss. This is Flex Velvet Cream. I'm a little nervous. I hate when you do your makeup and you get the white crust. Like, I swear I don't have white crust. I'm scared to finish this. What if I just leave it like this? It's so bright. A tiny little shimmer of gloss. Oh, that's pretty. The product is like phenomenal it's how i apply it the gloss just added like a whole nother layer to it like you're definitely supposed to use both of these together how she looks with a red lippy that is slang that is slang like this is giving holiday look i need to put my little santa earrings on oh that's gonna be so cute okay this this is that girl i need to know what other colors they have of these yes yes a million times yes I love it. At first, I wasn't sure. At first, I was like, uh, but she looks so good. My finished look. How is she looking? How is she looking? Her bitch that doesn't do makeup, like, it'll work. So, I'm gonna end the video here. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and doing my makeup with me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going Christmas shopping. We need to get some more presents. We need to wrap some presents. It's like really crunch time, okay? But I love y'all and I cannot wait to see you in my next motherfucking video. Bye, beautiful. Mwah. See ya.